Hey, it's Jess back with another Misfit Makers Besties tutorial and today we are doing the fishing lure. I can't wait to get started. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. We upload every Wednesday and Friday and that's the way to get notified. Also, check out our free Facebook group, Misfit Makers, and if you want to take your business to the next level, check out our mentorship group. All right, guys, so today we're going to start out with a 24 ounce plump from the Tipsy Magnolia, and I already have it spray painted black. I used Rust Oleum Flat black. We're also going to use a pair of fishnets. I almost said pantyhose. <laughs> so I just grabbed these from my daughter's drawer. She is a dancer, so we have about 5,000 pairs of fishnets laying around. But you can grab yours off Amazon or Walmart mm -hmm. or pretty much mm -hmm. anywhere sells fishnets. Check around Halloween time, the like Halloween section. You can always find fishnets for like a dollar or two dollars a piece. So if you plan on making a bunch of fishing lure tumblers, that's the time to stock up on those fishnets. So we're just, you saw, I'm going to slide my tumbler into our fishnets and make sure I'm pulling it tightly and slide it all the way down. And I try to make sure like the little line at the bottom of the fishnets, like where your toes go, is straight across at the bottom on my tumbler. That little line's gonna show there, but I'm gonna show you later a way to cover it up. And honestly, it's the bottom of your tumbler, so it's okay. It's okay if it's not perfect. Now, at the bottom of your cup, you can add a piece of painter's tape to keep your, your fishnets in place if you want, or you can just hold it with your hand. I would recommend putting some gloves on before you spray paint. I forgot that mm -hmm. step here. Big mistake. <laughs> Next, we're going to take our tumbler outside and we're going to start spray painting. So my three colors are all in the neon section and they're by Rust-Oleum. And I got neon pink pink, green, and yellow. And I'm going to start out with my pink. Now, I will recommend taking your white, flat white spray paint and spray painting your tumbler white first because it was kind of hard to get these neon colors to show up over the black spray paint. And I ended up doing two coats. As soon as I started spraying the pink on there, I was like, dang it, I should have painted it white first, but that's okay. Next, once we get about half of our tumbler spray painted with pink, I then am going to go in with our neon green and do the other half green. Sorry for my angles. I'm trying to show you guys the best I can. I don't have a fancy spray paint booth. I just use what I have, which is my backyard. <laughs> so after we get our mm -hmm. half of our tumbler green, half of our tumbler pink, and remember guys, you don't have to use these colors. You can use whatever colors that you l would prefer. We are then going to go in with that yellow to blend our two colors in nicely. You can tell by my spraying movements, I'm just doing short burst and only letting a little bit of spray paint come out at a, at a time. Of course, I picked the windiest day to go outside and spray paint, but we made it work. <laughs> After you are happy with the way your tumbler looks, let it dry and then see if you need to do a second coat or not. If not, you are ready for the next step. I think it turned out good. This was after one coat. Like I said, I did go in with a second coat because I felt like I didn't get really good coverage. Like I could still see the black uh, showing through a little bit, but it's going to look more dull before you get epoxy on it. Once you put that first coat of epoxy on it, it shines up so much. So don't overthink it too. Like if your ombre is not perfect or if you have some flaws, it's okay. I promise. Afterwards, we are then going to remove our pantyhose. Or not our pantyhose, our fishnets. Make sure your spray paint is completely dry before removing or trying to remove these. I probably let my cup dry for about an hour before touching it to see if it was ready and it was. Now this is kind of tricky. Just I tried to set my tumbler down on a flat surface and pulled the best I could. And these these fishnets are going to be stuck on there because we did just spray paint the heck out of them. Now you can reuse your fishnets too. So if you don't get a hole in them by tearing them, I've reused my fishnets with my fishing lure tumblers many of times. 
Next, I am going to mix my epoxy. I mixed 30 ml of Facet from CCDIY, and I'm adding a little bit of additive. This is Sparkletastic from Glitter Craze. A little bit goes a long way, but I just think adding that little bit of sparkle really is the perfect touch mm -hmm. for to look like a fishing lure. Especially if you're gifting this to a guy, a lot of a lot of these fishing lure tumblers are made for men. A little bit of sparkle's okay because like I said, those fishing lures all have sparkle in them. But if you go overboard, I don't I don't know, then you might be making it for a girl, okay? <laughs> We're going to do a nice thick coat all the way around. Make sure you torch those bubbles really good. After about two and a half, three hours, our fat set was completely cured and then we were ready to decal. These fishing lure decals I found on Etsy. There is a, a bundle, I believe there's 10 to the bundle of all different fishing lure scales and eyes. And I just found the one that I like. You see multiple sheets right there because my silhouette was not being nice to me and I had to cut it several times for for me to get all the pieces. <laughs> now for the eyeballs, I just layered the eyeballs with black 651 and then for the middle part is a blue metallic vinyl from Vinyl Fun for Everyone and then black in the middle again. And I just think that is perfect for the fishing lure effect. I'm using transfer tape to pull up my vinyl. My transfer tape is also from Vinyl Fun. And we're just gonna apply our decals. I applied my eyeball and then my scale goes right underneath. And I ended up adding a few little scales at the bottom of my tumbler to hide that little line or try to hide it the best I could. But again, don't overstress about the bottom of your tumbler. Once you get your one side done, then you're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Now, since we are using metallic vinyl, you do want to make sure that you are sealing your vinyl because you don't want your epoxy to repel. So I will go in with a thin coat of Quick Coat from CCDIY to make sure that we seal all of our vinyl pieces. This is going to repel. Uh, this is going to prevent repelling, and it's also going to prevent any of those tiny vinyl pieces from lifting up on you. After your quick coat is dry, about 15-20 minutes, then we can go in with our final coat of epoxy. I mixed up 30 ml of medium viscosity, also from CCDIY, to do a nice even coat. If you end up doing an, a third coat, that is totally acceptable, but the goal was for this to be the final coat and it turned out great. I didn't have any spots, fish eyes, <laughs> get it, because it's a fish cup, or any spots that repelled on me. So it was perfect, it ended up being my final coat. Don't forget to torch all of those bubbles too. Voila! I hope this tutorial helped and inspired you in some sort of way. Make sure you leave your comments down below and I will see you guys next time.